This is a Silver Cross Jet, and today we're going to show you how to remove the textiles in case you need to wash them or conduct small sewing repairs. Uh, what we're going to remove primarily today, or exclusively today, is the seat textiles. Uh, the canopy is somewhat removable, but the problem is that the uh, method with which one removes this front rib, uh, which involves poking inside the hinged element on the side, um, can result in breaking that canopy strut. So we're not going to do that today, and I would recommend that uh, in general you try to wash the canopy just like hand wash it, yeah, because there is a very strong chance of breaking uh, the connection point to that strut in the front. But we're going to remove the seat textiles today, which is the key element that you would need to wash anyway, and um, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do then is detach the canopy from the seat fabrics, and uh, here on either side you have a button and velcro. Open that up, pull it away, and then it's also attached in the back via another Velcro here. Long Velcro on the top, and then two small portions on the side. So, there you go. Then, as far as the seat textiles are concerned, on either side here you have a couple of different sorts of buttons. So on the bottom, it's just a push button that you can open up. But then here is more of like a metal peg that slides in. So you gotta pull that out like that. See, it hooks in. There you go. All right, next thing to do then is to pull these straps off of these uh, buttons. And this is like a, an eye hole, like for a button. So you're just gonna pull it off like that. And then for the next stage, you're gonna need to start unscrewing. So we have one screw here and then three here. Yeah, so four on each side. There we go. All right, then we're gonna move on to these three screws. All right, there we go. It's detached on the side now. I'm just gonna do the other side and then we'll move on to the next stage. All right, so once you've detached those sides with the screws, you then need to unclip this strap here. And then there's a Velcro strap under the seat. And then if you look here underneath this uh, vel that Velcro bit, this is the bottom of the central buckle. So you need to pull this down turn it sideways and pop it up through. Then we can turn around the stroller. Then if you look at uh, this bottom bit here, which is like the, where the baseboard and the leg rest are, right here at the end underneath, there is a elastic band. So you need to reach under and unhook that one as well. It's just on a peg there, just like this. On the other side, And then we can slide the textiles entirely off. All right, so that's how you remove the seat textiles. You now have a couple of options. Uh, the tag on this actually says hand wash. It says 30 degrees as well. In our experience, it's generally okay to use a colder wash, like 30 degrees, in a washing machine for seat fabrics and so on. So if you wanna wash this in a washing machine, you would also have to remove uh, the back and baseboard, which is connected as one piece. There's a zipper for doing that here. Um, this involves threading through the belts here, as well as up here. You have to thread them in through the fabric. Uh, otherwise, alternatively, you can just hand wash this with the boards inside. Uh, boards are made of plastic, so they'll dry just fine as well. All right, in order to put this back together then, we're just gonna reverse the process. So I'm gonna start by pulling this uh, pocket or sleeve at the bottom of the textiles over that leg rest. Yeah, pull it in all tight. Then find those elastic loops. I'm gonna to have to go underneath them and attach them to those pegs. Take that middle buckle, slide it down through that slit again, and just 
pull it nice and straight, reattach that Velcro, reattach this. That was easier before the Velcro. That strap. All right, then it's a matter of doing that screwing. Uh, I'm gonna find that easiest by turning this down on its side. And then we're gonna wanna line up these holes. Because these are screwed directly into the poles, it's important to be a little bit careful. Um, don't use something, don't use a screwdriver with too much torque, and you can switch off between a handheld, uh, like an electric screwdriver, and just a, a, a regular screwdriver. Especially for the end, when you're gonna tighten them up. Then there's this one, right? And this holds both the seat textiles as well as the strap that's responsible for adjusting the recline. So you need to first go through the strap and then through the seat textiles. And then we'll screw it into place. All right, I'm just gonna do the other side and then we'll proceed. All right then. Now we can reattach these straps here. Just pulling that button through the eye hole. There we go. And then you wanna start uh, in the reverse process with that top button, slot it in, and then there's a push button on the bottom. Slotting in the top, and a push button. All right, then we're going to reattach the canopy. So, on the sides here, there's Velcro, Button. Then we're just going to reattach the Velcro on the back. So you have one there, one a little bit lower, the other side, and then you have this longer Velcro in the back. And there you have it. That is how you remove and reattach the textiles from a Silver Cross jet. We hope you found this video useful. If you did, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.